Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn all about the multiplication algorithm, which is just the standard way of multiplying. Before this, we've been working on all sorts of different multiplication strategies. And so if you want to go back and watch some of those, it can help you build up to this video. All right, let's dig in. All right, so the first problem we're going to tackle is a two digit times a one digit, just to kind of give us a warm up. And this one is 45 times three. And before we get started, I wanted to let you know that this strategy is the fastest shortcut when you're multiplying. And if you've got your multiplication facts down, that makes it easier and faster. If you don't though, it's still okay because we have ways that we can figure things out. So let's take a look at 45 times three and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So the first thing you want to do, just like when you're adding the traditional way, you start with the smallest place value. So we're going to start with 5 times 3. So it's great if you know that fact, but if you don't, you have ways where you can count by 5s 3 times. So what is 5 times 3? Okay, awesome. 15. So the way we're going to write it in the traditional way is that we're going to write it like we do when we regroup for addition. So we're going to put the five down there in the ones place and we're going to regroup that one because we know that that one really belongs with the tens. So put that one up there. Now we're going to do four times three. So the goal is to do each of those digits in 45 times three. So now we're going to focus in on the four. So in the past with our strategies, we've been thinking about the value of that four so that it's in the tens place. It's worth 40. The nice thing about the algorithm is that it puts everything in the right place in the answer. So we can just think about four there. So what is four times three? And again, if you know it on the top of your head, that's great. That just makes it faster for you. If you don't yet, then you can be thinking about, okay, I can either count by fours three times, or I can count by threes, whatever you prefer, four times. So what do you get when you count by, um, let's do counting by fours three times. So four eight. What do you get? Okay, awesome. 12. And then what we do is we look at that regrouping we did earlier. So we put a one above the four and we want to add in that extra 10 there. So now what's 12 plus one? Awesome. 13. So we're going to write our 13 right there in the tens and hundreds place. So see how it just kind of put things where they belong, just on its own. It's just a, a shortcut, like I said. All right, so our answer is 135. Great job. All right, and I thought for one more step with that problem, we should try out repeated addition just to make sure that that algorithm works properly. So let's write it out. Let's write 45 plus 45 plus 45 and just test it out. Anytime you learn something new, it's always good to kind of try some different strategies and just see if you can check yourself to make sure that it's going okay. So if I added up those 45s three times, what is five plus five plus five? Okay, awesome, 15. This is sounding a lot like the algorithm because that was my first step in the algorithm. So that's great. Now I'm going to do the four plus four plus four, which is 12, and then add that extra one that I regrouped, 13. Okay, so that's great that they match. That tells me that the algorithm works just fine. Repeated addition works just fine. 
So now we can try a problem that's a little bigger. All right, so now let's do a problem that's a three digit number times a one digit number. So we're gonna try out 263 times four. And I'm gonna write the algorithm on one side and I'm gonna write the repeated addition on the other side. Anytime I'm multiplying by a number like four or the last one was three, I think it's kind of easy to do repeated addition alongside it because it doesn't take a whole lot of extra work to try adding that up. And, you know, in this case, this represents four groups of 263. So it just kind of makes sense to do that. So let's start with the lowest place value, the smallest place value. So three times four. What is three times four? All right, you got it, 12. I'm gonna write it down and regroup the one over there with the tens. And then I'm gonna look over at my repeated addition and I'm seeing something kind of cool. I'm seeing four groups of three right there when I'm adding those. And that reminds me of, of uh, four times three or three times four. So let's count that up, three, six, nine, 12. I got the same thing. And my regrouping looks the same also. So that's great. Now let's move on to the tens place. So I've got six times four. And I know in my head that that six is really a 60, but I love that the algorithm lets me just work with the easy, just six times four. So what is six times four? That may be a hard fact. We may not know that in our head. And so let's count by sixes. So that's where the repeated addition comes in handy. You can kind of use that to help you. But we've got six, then 12. Okay, then count six more. 18, and then count six more. 24. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to think about 24 plus the one that I regrouped. So I get 25. I'm going to regroup that two over there with the hundreds place. And then let's look at the repeated addition. So six plus six plus six plus six. Well, we just did that on our fingers. We did uh, four groups of six and we got 24 plus the one over there too. Great, we got 25. So I'll regroup over there too. All right, then I'm going to think about my last multiplication problem. So two times four. What is two times four? All right, eight plus that two that we regrouped and we get 10. Oh, that's a big answer. 1,052. Let's see if we get the same thing and finish out our repeated addition. So, ooh, I like that these are all twos. We can just skip count. That's great. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yay! We got the same answer on both of them. So this algorithm is really working out for us. It's a little bit of a shortcut. And so I think you're really going to enjoy that strategy. Great job! I have one more problem for you to try. This is 415 times six, or you can think about it like six groups of 415. I want you to give the algorithm a try, give the repeated addition a try, and then let's see if we can get the same answer. When we come back together, we'll check your work. All right, good luck. All right, so take a look at my work that I just finished. 
and see if you got the same thing. Did your two strategies uh, equal the same answer? That's a great test to have. And I want you to think about which one of these is your favorite strategy so far. So in this video, we did the algorithm and repeated addition. But in my past videos, we've tried partial products. We've tried doing an area model. We've tried drawing equal groups and counting up base 10 blocks. So think about what's your favorite way to multiply. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that this video can help you in your class or at home and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!